as well. Yeah, this is the former Tong Fu team. They they nearly made it straight into the, the winner bracket finals. They had that really rough match against uh, against Navi, battle. the fountain hook game. Mm -hmm. And they've they've replaced one, they've added in Xiaowei, but you do look at this this roster and it's shocking that they're even in this position where they may fall short of the main event. One of the favorites, but here we go. Titan on the radiant, newbie the dire. It's game one of a best of three. I'm LD. He's Lumi. Here we go. Net on the Sand King. We're gonna have Extinct playing the Scarf Mage. Both teams playing really passive at level one. No movements into the jungle. Yamate will be the Slark. We have KYXY handling the Brute. And into the offlane goes Ohio the as the begins. Bristleback. Very unusual not to see either team really make a move into the enemy jungle. We do see a ward get dropped down here, but there was no five-man aggression from either squad. Yep, it's going to be a 1v1 up top here. Xiao A is going to be handling Tight Hunter. It should be a very fair, uh, interesting matchup. I think Tight Hunter edges out because he has anchor smash, but we'll see. We'll see. It really comes down to last hitting whatnot. How it's going to be your solo mid morphling. Very interesting. We don't see too much of that. Meanwhile, the trialing bot is going to feature Shanshang on the Shadow Demon. We have Banana on the support Jakiro. Hopefully, it's not going to be a 0-8 Jakiro game after this, and then we have move on Viper, but it looks like the trialing is swapping. Yeah, for those of us joining for the multicast, uh, Jakira has a 0-7 record at TI4, so uh, AOI 2000. That's very disgusting. Probably not happy with that. It's one of his favorite heroes, but well, for now, it's going to be Bristleback versus Tide, so two heroes that normally dominate other melee. It should be a, a pretty interesting matchup, and I uh, expect to see a lot of farm there. In the mid lane, the Brew versus the Morph lane, uh, another lane where we'll just see farm traded. Now, Titan not making any ganks yet. They do have a smoke available. Out comes the courier with the bottle. Nothing too exciting. And then bottom, the Slark. Pretty difficult kill once he gets level 2. I'll dark pack to remove everything. There's no Viper Strike as of yet. I just want to say that for the past minute, the two supports on Titan has not revealed themselves yet. They are just like stacking a camp. They're, you know, hanging around the ancient spot. They are wasting a ton of time. Let's see if they can get a gank off. This looks like a smoke. They're waiting. <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, mid is a very tough kill. They're just gonna sentry ward first, and, and actually, there is a dire observer yeah. now. Spotting on that as he moves towards the rune. So they know this isn't spotted, but oh, they drop another sentry. They really want to make sure they're not wasting time with these roams. So first they deward. They might back off and go for another st another stack, and then I think we'll see them go for their first smoke gank. But essentially, it's been it's been two minutes of doing nothing for your two supports. They dewarded oh, Lumi. Come on now. Okay, they did right. something. <laughs> This is, gonna, this is gonna scare Hal a bit, but it's a Morphling mid with a Panda, so they really rely on this Ancient Seal coming out quickly. And then you have, you know, Ty Hunter on top, so I don't think he's worried at all there either. So this gank, this first gank has to work. It really does. And good news, they don't have to use their smoke. They've dewarded the wait, wait up that two minute rune. It actually spawns the bottom lane. And it will be an illusion. But here they go top. Still extinct, you have to skill anything. That's the one issue with this, is Skywrath Mage is level 1. And this is a hero that I feel he really hits the stride once he's got at least one point in each ability. Mm -hmm. The Arcane Bolt, the Slow, and the Sounds, they're all important in this game. But also, we haven't seen anything yet. to be mentioned, if you look at Shanshan, he's got a TP scroll already. If that first gank comes, and if Tyhunter could survive for a long time, and yes he can, the TP's gonna come and the gank's gonna be done. So, especially with now the Lugia Rune scouting the two supports on the top region of the map, I think Newbie is doing completely fine in this early portion of the game. Oh yeah, they're free farming, they're more fleeing, the Viper's doing well, and the Tide's fine. And the smoke, it finally comes. They're actually gonna go back bottom. Or mid, we'll see. Oh. Yeah, towards the mid lane for now. Net and Extinct rotate. They'll ban in the top lane, and the ambitions of killing off Tide. And they'll go for the Morph lane instead. They're gonna need Ancient Seal here. There's just no way. And they will skill it up at level one. They are still level four. They can get off the path. They've got a shot. They silence out quickly. Now the Burrow comes through. He's not straight morphing, but he can start. Now he waves out. Uh, it's a waste of time for Titan. Great reactions by Sun Chung. Yeah, you can see that the TP came immediately. He was actually fine even without the Shadow Demon, I think, though. So. so, I mean, that's, that's to be said. Like, it's hard to actually gank the Morphling Meat, despite the fact that you have a three-second silence. So, yeah, this early game phase, not really doing well. I think it really comes down to the Slark to bring them out of the gutter, if you will. Because he needs to get that level 6. He needs to get a quick kill and just break the map open. Gutter is a strong word, Lumi. <laughs> it's true though, you look at the farm and it's free farm for all three cores really. Yeah, the Bristleback actually breaking even with the Titan, and that's the best they have. The Brewmaster losing the mid lane uh, by just a touch. It's about even, but if you're trading more lane and Brew farm, it's Titan who have more pressure to get things done as we approach the mid game. Not only that though, Titan has a lineup that cannot take a single tower. Like, what is your tower push? They don't have any, so they really rely on the early game laning phase, as well as the ability to get kills to give them that early advantage. And so far, they're not winning the lanes, they're not getting kills. So once this mid game comes, especially when the item comes off for newbie, Team Titan is really in a big trouble. They have Warpath. 
<laughs> that's it. I guess. You that's right click push. really fast. That's their push. Yeah, you get a little extra damage from that, but well, we'll see. Extinct in net. Now wrapping around towards mid. The other thing is their mid game is very strong, and they have been stacking the neutrals. So if that ever can get level two, level three, we may see some some farming. But for now, how am I actually die here? Because he's only got 260 health left. But he's playing back. The creep's gonna dive him towards the tower and and keep Howe in a, a safe position. Courier on its way back. It's bottle crowing right now, and they're waiting for their opening to go in. They can start this with the ancient cell. They're gonna need follow up though, and how. He's very close to his tower. The Shadow Demon TP is available. He's just constantly buying TPs. But this is such a difficult dive. Uh, this time he'll out. disruption. Oh, that's the dive. This might be it. Go, They're go, not go. gonna find a better time. Can he turn on the straight barb dive? He's already done it. He got off the straight barb. Uh, I don't think, I think Gang's over. The straight barb is enough. One more right click could do it. Oh, they can't quite. Great reaction. This time for the battle. That's the better dude. Yeah, the reason that Hal survived, if you look at his level, he's level six already. Like, how is this happening right now? You have two level one supports ganking mid, and you can get level six morphling, and that is the reason why they don't get the kill. But they actually, oh, okay. No, it looked like he just threw aside neutral for a quick trip back to the fountain. Yeah. But you can get here in time to, to complete the quad sec. But these supports need levels. Really. The yep. Sand King's level one. He can't even farm neutrals right now. He's going to have to leech experience off the lane just to start. And really, you need level three. So you can get the level two Sandstorm and, and then go. Yep. This is. This is a really rough start for Titan. It might not look that bad. They're only down by 1,000 gold, but towards the mid game, the Skyrath Mage, this is a hero that you want to know about. We've seen Skyrath Mage is getting seven, eight kills. Oh, and that, now he's in trouble. There's a haste rune on Howe, and this is going to be not our first Dyer's one, but uh, looks to be another kill. That being dope, the ancient stuff. Oh, one more right click. There you go. Technically, the first one is That will play the uh Oh, KYXY gets his teleport cancel, and that's going to be a second blood going Dyer's to Howe. Anything that have gone, uh, can go wrong, have gone wrong well, for this, Titan. This was not the script Titan had in mind. This, this is a Shao 8 script right now. Well, the Shaori script generally starts with the team losing and then making a comeback, but... Free farm for the Morphling, now a double kill, a lot of wasted time, your Sand King is still level 1! Oh, this is... this is a train wreck. Yeah, I mean, this is not a train wreck in the sense it was like DK versus Cloud9 Game 2. That was a drafting train wreck. This is, to me, an execution train wreck. I mean, the first two minutes. Bottom. They, they can at least look for a trade here. They jump on the moon. And they do. Oh, he's pretty tanky. Just kill him. He's, he's going for it. Uh, Yamate okay. wants to commit. They're going to brain in three. This is going to get net level two. All right. Level three. Sandstorm's in the game. Oh, is KY or Yamate going to die? No, he's actually going to back. But they've got a shot now. The yeah, Extinct also hits level three in that engagement. So there you go. The, the experience is here. They could actually start roaming now. Or are they going to play the catch up game with Sandstorm? I, I think you have to. If you don't play the catch up game now, and you fail on another gank or two, game's pretty much over. Like, what is a Sand King who's level 3 at 10 minutes into the game going to offer? Oh, this is... I, I think we're back and we just say, great, we've got a kill, we've got some levels, get your level 3 on Sand King, start farming the neutrals and, and work towards your Blink Dagger. They do have a very strong, a, a pretty robust mid game. They have the, the Brewmaster Blink that can come out, the Blink Dagger on the Sand King. It's going to be late, but they can still at least get one and, and have some initiation that way. And they have Slark and Bristleback. These are these are heroes that can face rush you in the mid game, and if you're not careful, run you over. So, uh, for me, Titan, it's very risky to continue trying to take these ganks, and it looks they're going to play it safe. Yeah, I, I do want to say though, with the early game advantage, I believe Newbie will reach that mid game much earlier than Titan can. So, despite the fact that Titan have a stronger mid game, maybe Newbie will be already prepared for that as it comes. Ohio on the top lane looks like he's just got the basics. Really not, not any item, big item to show for. He can't solo kill anybody here. And with the Viper, he in theory could die. In theory. In theory. Hard to kill a Bristleback really. Well, there's the level six is ready, but Ohio is, is playing it back. He's already got his treads up. I feel like they don't need to kill him. If they do, it's just kind of a bonus then. Well, Titan, they've got ambitions. Top lane they go. Smoke up from Extinct. KOX, so I will join him. No blink yet though. He's doing pretty well in terms of farm, but he, he did stop off for a Bracer and a Magic Wand, so in that sense, a uh, bit of a slow blink, you could say. Shao 8 farming Ancients for the time being. He has a TP, though, and Ravage is ready. They really want to take this fight, I would say, like anywhere past this line, away from the tower. So the Ravage can't now. quick, and they'll go now with the Kinect. But it's a long way to die, and it can come the tide. The TP did no, just just the support to start this one on. Actually, the Morphling TP. And now, and now they're bringing more. The Shadow Demon's gonna come as well. They've got Ravage, but it's still just used and... 
Ben Ravage still waiting for the Tidehunter. He's got Mana. He's going to let him fly. It's only really done something to Ohio. He might be brought down here. The Bristleback stacking up. It'll be a one for one trade thus far. The Brewmaster split ends. He cyclones the Shadow Demon. And now looks the TP out. No way to cancel this one. Well, a Ravage for a split and a core for a support. Uh, I guess advantage newbie. It's it's close because even though they lost the core for a support, they, they forced out multiple teleports and they dove from their tower to the enemy tower. How many teleport was that? Like two teleports? It's okay. It's nothing to, to be, be happy about. Tower More importantly though, Newbie got a blink dagger out of that, so I guess the big winner is Newbie after all. Yeah. And now we go into the mid game with how actually the whole newbie squad, all three cores, topping the farm chart, topping the network chart. They've got their blink first on the Key team fight initiator, the, the Tide versus the Brew. What do you think the game plan is for Titan as we go towards the mid game? Obviously, this Radiant's wasn't how they expected the lady stage attack. to go, but do you just sit back Dyer's and farm the blinks? Do you just try and focus on team fights? What's your plan? Oh. Hold that thought. KYX might be a little bit trouble. There's a double damage high hunter giving chase. Looks like they'll back off. Dyer's I think it comes down to what item Yamate is going to pick up. Is it just the Slark? Is he, is he the, the key for Titan here? I think so. He needs to run around and pick off supports. Because without losing tier 1 towers, it's very easy to defend against the Slark. You just hug your tier 1 towers and then the Slark doesn't do much. So I think Titan somewhat, somehow needs to go into the enemy jungle, pick up a couple kills, and then break those T1s. But again, it comes down to NWP. Is he going for Midas? Looks like he's just... Yep, he's going for Midas. So, scratch that. Looks like they're going to try to do a little bit of recovery farming. But you're trying to recover against a Morphling? With a, with a lineup that, again, doesn't have a great solution for him in the mid game. They have yep. Ancient Seal. That's really about it. There's no Doom this game, there's no Storm, no quick Orchid Builder. So this Morphling could be left unchecked. Here comes the Smoke Gang from Newbie. Sangsheng and Banana moving up, but Ohio should have revealed around the corner. He might find an opening. Now they go. They'll stack it up. The Concussive Shot comes through, and Newbie will make, well, I guess their first mistake of the game, really, getting caught out there. I'll take a, they'll take a freebie. I think Titan needs quite a bit of freebies to come back. But Yamate, I mean, what was the timing that we saw LGD pick up a Midas yesterday on, on Slark? It was like, what, five minutes in the game? Yeah, yeah. Th this is not nearly that fast. Then again, you're, you're more playing as you want for anything super greedy. Just the treasure and the kill for now. But you really want to be ahead of your Slark versus more not the other way around. Well, there's already a mech ready. And Newbie knows since there's a Midas on Slark, there's really no defending this tier 1 top tower. So Newbie will slowly siege it, and uh, actually, it's, it's not even a slow siege. With Liquid Fire, you break it down quite quickly. It's, it's a very rapid siege. Yeah. The tower is down to 300 health. There's no living armor for Titan, no way to heal this tower up. And they'll go again. Yep. They create a replicate of the Viper. Remember, uh, the Heaven Constant does do half Radiant damage to buildings. Are fortified. They get low, so we have an opportunity. Maybe, oh, bottom lane. There's Ravage. Not going to throw it out, but they really force Yamate off. And, so, for now, Titan hold. They actually have a, a Brewmaster split, but no, no Blink Dagger for him to get in close. Actually, Tower is in the Nye range. If somehow Titan could get the side, they're going to look to go here. The Tower falls, the Kiro throws out a nice pass, there's a split. Okay, that's why he's going to have to use it. Wait, for the time being, they're not going to go. Then he comes, now he blinks and connects on everyone. Only the Brewmaster left standing after that. They cyclone up the Viper for the time being, but there's really no follow-up until Yamase jumps in. Caught by a nice pass, waved over the top, newbie. Rush through. They bring down three. And there's no trade. Nothing at all. Now the split end. The KYXY. Oh! It might be enough with the Epi! There's at least something here. They get the more played. Uh, ice pass though. Now that's in trouble. Soul Catcher. A few more poison attacks will finish the job. And that's going to be everyone dead. They've wiped out the entire squad. Now they might lose Extinct as well. Oh, it's 6 no. zero falling. Oh, man. I mean, if that side game just that. came up a little bit sooner, like, you can see that they, they had so, such a rush defense, right? If they just gave up the tier 1 and just took a better fight in tier 2, Radiant's that would have made all the difference in, in the game. Attack. What an unfortunate time for Slark to just have completed a Midas as yep. well. He yep. jumped right when the big 5v5 clash breaks out. All he's got is a Midas boots and a stick. Also, unfortunately, because he jumped in, he just didn't have mana to use his ultimate until he popped his magic stick. But by that time, he was already at like 50 health, and he just died to the to remaining AoE. So Titan, not a fortunate fight, and this is not a line that, that could afford losing fights like that, because I don't know exactly what the Ghost Swing is. It, it seems to be like a 2500 Ghost Swing for Team Newbie, and that could be what it takes to get Newbie's next item. If I'm Newbie, if I'm how I'm just going straight BKB here and just secure the mid-game, take every tower, and just go for the late-game win. Yeah, we'll see. it's really good against Ancient Seal. I think that's the main spell that's 
going to give him any trouble. And Epicenter. I mean, you, you see that with a Blink Burrow Shrike and, and the big AoE damage coming out. Really, that is the only way Titan's going to win fight from this point on. And if you BKB that, well, there goes the Titan's team fight. It's really not just the Morphling to worry about. You got Moo walking around now with a point booster and a mechanism. So he's getting tanky. And I think they can 4v5 this. They can kind of take a Vici gaming approach to the game where you've got the more plain off split pushing similar to how Silar would play it. And the rest of the team can 4-man if they want to. If they want to just angle for late, they don't have to bring in the more plane to fights, but Newbie Radiant's are going to do it. They'll wrap pound down attack. towards the bottom lane. Epicenter still cooling down for 25. Ravage 20 as well in that, but well, with no Epi, there's just no way the Titan fights into this mech and point booster. It's, the Viper is too tanky. They're trying to make it Blink did not Oh, the play of the Kuro strikes in. Is there any adaptive strike? Net is going to pay for it, but hey, man, you're losing a support for a tower denied. The big plays comes out from Net. He's already got a quick dagger. I yeah. guess that's the, the main thing is dying there. It, it might look foolish, but any bit of gold you can take away from Newbie is is going to give you a better shot in the mid game. And he's already secured his items. Beyond that, Sand King, Arcane Boots are nice. He's actually got those as well. He's already picked up his Arcanes, and Blake, after that start, that has really caught up nicely. Yeah, I mean, he was stacking camps for himself previously, and you can see it paying off. That was the one thing I liked about the roaming, was he gave himself a plan B, because they stacked the camp right away, and then they, as soon as the first gank failed, they went back to it. So sometimes we see teams roam with Sanke with no stacks at all, and if it doesn't work, it's like the game's already over for them. Actually, so. It seemed like that way. It seemed like the game's already over. Like, seeing on the bottom lane looks like he's going to die to a solo kill on how back in the mid, though. The crowd kicks out. It's going to be Ohio taking the full brunt of damage. Here comes the blue. How's Aki back to fight next to and They are bringing Ohio down, but here comes the Burrow Strike. Happy, Happy's going to get channeled and seeing a ton of damage. Xiao A, is he going to go down? Yes, he is. Net, though, he's going down to the AoE as well. Focusing on Moo, but he's so tanky thanks to that point booster. Blink clap, one crit for the kill. Can he actually go to Moo? He's so slow, and the orb bomb comes out. Moo is not going to get hit anymore. Here comes Extinct. He's going to pull out the slow. One more orb is going to get the kill, and that's going to bring Extinct to level 6. They're going to keep chasing on how, but how should be absolutely fine. And how we'll wage the low ground. Man, you don't often see that. Sand King burrowed in and then Epi channeled on top of a tide and got off the Epi. Yeah. That never happens if you do that. It's like always the Ravage comes out and cancels it, but he managed to get it off. Ballsy Daya's play. And without that Epi, attack. that's just a completely whiffed fight for Titan. But with it, they actually come out on top there. Their first big win of the game. The concern, though, for me is still how. How is still farming like a boss, and, and they've yet to, I think he has yet to die this game, actually. Well, 4-1-6, okay, yeah. he's died once, but that's not enough. This Morphlane is still going to be a problem as we approach the mid-game, but he, he fantastic is a fight for Titan. Radiance yeah, he is a problem with the fact attack. that he actually just won a fight down so much gold and experience gives Titan some hope. Now, they are still very reliant on that epicenter, and, but he is about to hit level 11. That's a key thing. Also, Extinct has got level 6, so they do have some hit point killing ability. Again, I think this is where Titan gives up that tier 1 tower. For another day. Radiance middle oh, tower oh, oh, what a deny coming out from Extinct! Is it? Really pay for it, yeah, he's, he's pay There's for a Burrow it. ready. If they want to commit to this, ah, they're just gonna sack it. I mean, it's, it's a support Skyrath Mage. He denied tower. That's a double deny. Yeah. But it is two kills for the two denies. So. I mean, the individual skill out of Titan right now is just mind boggling. Right? They, are, they are down so much. The position is, is not so good, though. As the dive comes through, they'll pop out the mech on Ohio for the time being. But they continue pursuit even through the deep. Oh, coming through. No epicenter to fall. It's up for net. And now he may play with his own life waving forward. Now secures that kill, too. 17 to 9 score. And now they may lose more. The tower being sieged. It may not finish it off. They do have a split soon. Ravage a little bit farther away. 25 seconds, about 20 to go down. Do they want to take this fight with a split? Dyer's no. Top nah, tower no sand is under attack. They'll have to let it go. Another tower falls. And, and the lineup that I think has the, the better late game in the, uh, in the Morphling without many real counters for him, well, he's getting ahead. That's only one tower remaining. Yeah. Generally, you don't see Morphling lineups take towers this quickly. Well, I guess with Jakiro, the fact that they had a huge lead, that, he's really the key to the towers. Yeah. And now you, that's the one thing I like about this pick because you look at the rest of their lineup and they have no push for them to hear at all. Only more play once you get Slark. I, I do actually question the Midas build on Slark because it really doesn't go hand in hand with the way that his team's playing. The team's actually playing fairly aggressive in these tower defense despite how far behind they are. But then you have your carry building a Midas. If you want to make those early game tower defense, I think it's much more suited if Yamate actually gets a fighting item. It also just worked out really unfortunately. Like, the second he completed Midas, I think even before he got to use it, or maybe it was right before the second use, but yeah. very early after he completed it, he had boots into Midas, and they had to take a huge team fight, and Slark just melted. 
Right. And that the thing is, they don't have to take that team fight. They could just say, you know what? We have a Midas on Slark. Let's, Let's just fart. forfeit. That's that's Howard. That's fine. But they took it. So a little bit of miscommunication in between the items that they're getting, as well as the playstyle they're exhibiting, which. Not, not exactly a recipe for success. As you can see, the Titan is struggling both on a 75,000 goal lead as well as a slightly smaller experience lead as they are able to kill a couple of uh, highly leveled heroes on right. the right now, dude, yeah, okay. They've got the Gush here that can remove the, the Roshan's armor. They also have a medallion now picked up and it's going to come out to the pit. There's really no vision. I think the biggest issue for Titan isn't just the tower loss, it's the general map control. I mean, if you go to the dire fog of war, they see everything. They've got lane wards, a jungle ward, sentry wards, blocks and camps off as well, uh, as we see right now here currently. They have complete map control. And if you're Titan, even if you suspect they're Roshi, you can't walk into the pit blind. They could very well be the they might get ammo. And so they're forced to give up an Aegis. It goes the way of Hal. Now he's gonna TP top. He'll even replicate with his team, so if they ever need him to join the fray, he can. But yeah, that map control from Newbie, that's that's the real prize for their early game success. Yeah, map control is probably your greatest weapon against a Slark, because he could never really do anything. He can't roll in the map like the way that the LGD Slark could have, you know, constantly in jungle getting kills. It looks like we're gonna see a five man backstab. On top, but he's got Aegis and Lincoln's here, and also a Replicate ready. He can just zip out and he does it! Oh, what a waste. Well, I think what that's, that's really the problem for them, is it's so hard to gank this Morphling. Titans really just want that tier 1, and then hopefully could go back and defend, but Dyer's looks like they're gonna just give up tier 2 attack. for a tier 1. Not exactly the trade they're looking for, but Dyer's I mean, at this point, they're just heavy choosers. It's just so hard to get. He, let's even say they, they managed to kill a Radiant's bot. They're not killing him twice. And at that point, Newbies may well Dyer's turn the fight against three four kills. So perhaps it might be in disguise that, that how we were treated there. The tier one was still standing top. Either way, Newbie, they waste no time now. They're going to force some TPs back. They may even try to breach high ground. They've got Tau 8 ready. Net in position as well. Look for the Epi. It's a level two epic center as well. There's no pipe yet. Just the hood on Chow 8. So this is probably Dyer's Net's last big chance to have a huge epi. The courier's on the way, and not delivery the pipe. He's very close, though. Yep, smart TP from Titan. You see that they left the slug behind, because he's going to be a super pusher in that case. Meanwhile, though, well, Morphling could do the same. And Morphling has a replicate. And he can just have a free TP scroll back to the fight. Well, boots of travel, really. But there's no rush for Newbie. They don't have to force this now, and they're not going to. They back off the Morphling. He'll continue farming. They can take over the enemy jungle. I'd like to see Newbie get a gem soon and just completely control the map, but whether they do or not, they effectively already are. Yep. And Titan, aside from the Slark, who can leave the base? I feel nobody's particularly safe. I guess Sand King in theory can because he is Quite sort, of, sort of mobile and sort of hard to kill. Brewmaster sort of could as well, but again, you're just facing down so much. Uh, and, and there's the gem for Sang Shang. And, and to me, this, this is one of the biggest weapons they have now against Titan. If they're in the dark, Titan have no no options except maybe blind five hero smokes. Huh, Vanguard coming out from Ohio. Like kind you, of like you said, there does seem to be a, a weird I don't know if you call it disconnect, just it's kind of in there's an incongruity, I guess, where you have the Slark trying to angle for late game, picking up the early Midas, and the bristleback going for a very late Vanguard. It does give you some additional HP, but if you want a Vanguard, it's normally something you want to get is just your first item very early on. Yeah, I, I guess the mech could be argued it's a little bit more important for the team, so I see that. No, it looks like backstab. Oh. Moves ready. He comes in from the side. And who's going to start this fight off? They Looking on the right side of the fight, Banana's actually in the middle of the fray. Net now retreating out. Shall we? Could go for a gut here. He's just going to let him go for the time being. And then Net starts moving that gut. Gets fog for a bit. The ice path off the market. Net continues his retreat while they ravage that. Uh, not even worth it for the Sand King show, it says. And actually, Ned bought the team so much time that the rest of the team could have walked in TP'd out. What an odd engagement that everyone picks it out. Yeah. But I, I liked, actually like that decision from Xiaowei. He could have killed the Sand King, but you want this Ravage so that Sand King already has his core items, right? It's, if he's about to finish a blink, maybe you go for that. But at this stage of the game, he's Blink Arcanes. What does it matter if you kill him? He's still going to have Epi and, and maybe even Buyback. And then you're down a Ravage for the next fight. Yeah. At the same time, I really don't think Newbie even needs a Ravage. Like, if they march up to that tier 2, they probably could take that tower without even spending a Ravage. We'll see, though. 3k go on Morphling's back, so I imagine the Eagle Song is coming very, very soon. What does what Vanguard really do this game, though? There's so much attack. magic damage on Newbie. I feel like this should just be... If he wants to be tanky, he has picked up the casual cloak, I suppose. 
BKB, frankly, to me, is like, looks like everything Radiance else from Newbie right now is like magic fallen. damage. BKB or Assange for SMY a little bit later on. Like, yeah, Dyer's I think Vanguard, anything, I think Halberd would be pretty nice. Sure, I mean, anything in a pulse 20 minute game, Vanguard just doesn't do anything, uh, I feel. Well, Ohio might just be Dyer's feeling like he just needs to buy whatever he can right now because the push is coming through the top lane. It's a lineup that can go very late with the Morphe, but they waste Dyer's no time, Newbie. They try to free space, and this is where we look at Net. He's in the trees, the sand came to the side, just waiting for an epi. Pipes are deployed. They're gonna attack. have to wait this pipe out before he looks to go in. And now they split push with the Slark on the bottom lane, but it's a tier 3 being traded right now just for pressure on a tier 2. It's a Dyer's difficult defense. Can they get it off attack. net? Gonna pop Sandstorm, and still he waits. Now he burrows a little bit farther back, and they're scouting for him with Shadow Poison. While they leave out on the front lines, he sieges, slowly but surely. No commitment yet. Still waiting for that entry. That's one pull down, but they're still in ages. And now they almost find him with a nice path. He's forced way back. Then Adapter strikes down. He couldn't take it off this lake. And Yamate is forced to return. The tier 3 is falling. The melee racks at half HP. Now they go with the nice path. On to Ohio. Still waiting for the Revit. Still for the Epi as well. Titan. Just afraid to go in. <laughs> But what do you do? Wave forward. They're gonna force something soon. He goes to X right now. The split can come. On to Moo, he focuses. They throw out a concussion shot. Moo, tanky, but not tanky enough. Gets the trouble. Then the Epi is completely wasted. One of the last few pulses clipping anyone. How just stands there, right? Because the split's being cleaned up, and Hal is driving the back. He's got some support here, too. They haven't even wrapped it. Already they've gone by the tanky. He'll be forced to buy back. Ohio's gonna TP directly on the tower of the base. Under siege. This looks like desperation mode for Titan. They lose the bristle back. He'll buy back as well. It's a double buyback. They've already lost the racks. They're still in ages. They're still a rack. And Newbie just walks away. So they used split. Newbie didn't use rapid, and they didn't even crack an ages, let alone a kill. Yeah, they used their best damaging spell, the epicenter as well. Don't call it a GG, but that was a that was like a, a fierce <laughs> that was a fierce effort for my Titan, right? They. It, 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 they invested a lot in that defense, and they got nothing, except lost gold. Effort zone win TI4. Let's just put it that way. I, I feel this, this morph lane is just too big now. He's up to 3,400 gold, and in fact, the Ethereal Blade's ready. Out comes the Ghost Scepter. The shotgun is officially online. Mm -hmm. And Hal can start putting some shells into that. It's, uh, it's really the positioning that it came down to. Normally, when you push a high ground, like the way that Nubi was, you're generally very clumped up, but the way that Newbie was pushing, they essentially had how slowly chipping away, liquid fire supplementing the damage, and then from long range you have Viper Strike, you have multitude of Shadow Poison scouting, uh, scouting net out, so Sanchez put in a lot of work uh, in that. And then when the Epicenter was forced out, it essentially did nothing because the disruption came through as well, so really perfect, picture perfect slow siege from Newbie. I think a lot of team could learn from the way that Newbie could, just did it. It's essentially perfect. And now they find one. Ah, it's just Yamate. He's got a BKB, but I, I think the song can mostly be ignored on the fights, to be totally honest. Yeah, he doesn't do enough. That's that's what we call a game-losing BKB. It helps you survive, but he doesn't do any damage. Yeah, he can, he'll be ignored here, and, and if they want to trade right clicks, more fleeing with a shotgun, and I think most importantly, the Viper Strike is really going to give him trouble. Maybe he can dodge one, but to dodge it repeatedly is just not going to happen because he's got an Agonist already. And Yamate, he won't be allowed to split push. Xiaowei going to force him back. He'll leap away and TP out. But now the push begins, and they're looking for a second lane of Rex here. The melee is already down top. The range, not fallen yet, but with a Morphling here and not much to lock him down, you, that's as good as gone. You can kiss that Rex behind. Goodbye at some point this game. And there's still a tier 1 mid. We're 28 minutes in. Titan. With the mid-game oriented lineup, just still struggling to take basic objectives Dyer's while the smoke comes. Newbie oh. going for attack. the backstab, and they're going to walk right into a stink. That's an easy Skyrim base kill, so they get more. That'll be the question. Nah, they just take the Skyrim. They get nothing. Okay, oh. will take the tower. Unfortunately, he's a brew. It's where you'd love him to be that Naga Siren in this game, but that's not the case. I mean, they're buying time for themselves, but... I, I don't think time what are they buying? Uh, yeah, yeah what they're buying time for, right? Maybe, if, I, I think they could have gone late, but when you've gone for a Vanguard mech on the Bristleback, the mech is completely standard, but just not the best late game build. And when you've got a Scarath Mage who does nothing against BKBs, and there's also a pipe, so he's not particularly effective at this stage of the game. All you really have for late game is the Sark. And like you mentioned, Yamate is just, he's not there. Yeah. Even with the Midas, he's still at 11k net worth. Morphling already at 14 and a half. I think, in theory, on paper, Titan could go pretty late with this draft, but the state of the game is such that they got to win some fights. They have to knock Newbie down a few pegs, 
in order to have any chance of coming back. Yeah, if there's no rush 20, they can come back. But right now, Titan, uh, they're smoking in. That's hard to smoke into a team that has a tight uh, Ravage as well as a Pipe. And now Yamate finds a haste. Newbie haven't spotted this one out yet. They don't have a Rune War towards the bottom side, but they're just sticking together. At this point, Newbie knows, right? Like They know their the play is don't feed, and, and from there, it's almost impossible for Titan to win. And they're just sticking together. And then there's nothing. Newbie's gonna Radiant's just take even away for the Roshan. In fact, Radiant's probably the best new two. Green direction up top. Yeah. Of the they don't even need them all. <laughs> just the creeps do the job. Yeah, that range Rex was as, as good as gone. But now they, I think if you're newbie, you just wait for Aegis at this point. Get the second Roche, and, and then you just go high ground movie. Actually, they're gonna make a play here. If if somehow Titan wins a fight right now, and get the next Roshan, that could be the beginning of a comeback. But. For that Titan to find that fight, uh, it's it's hard. Because like you said, the game plan is very clear for Newbie. Don't feed, don't die. And they're they're five manning a lot. Like, if this was a closer game, I think you'd see the Morphling split pushing more and trying to apply pressure, but he doesn't need to. He actually waltzes in mid. It shows you the state Whoa. of the game, that House just, he's confident enough to show his face with, well, pretty much everyone in Titan off the map. They've only got this one Warden, and they haven't spotted anyone except from Panda, but don't have answers for the Morphling at this stage of the game. Didi Rune's gonna be bottom as well. This will make for short work of the Roche. Is he gonna see Shotgun? Shotgun not really doing that much, or at least not enough to kill Yamate. He can easily one-shot. Net, the Slark almost picked off by that. Definitely Extinct. Oh yeah, Extinct is complete food. Extinct doesn't even need that wave back step. Newbie with the wraparound, and they've got, they're gonna find the high ground opening here. Titan have been revealed. They popped the pipe and they're going for the anchor special time. Right. Now the edge head. Not on the market, it looks up to net. He's battling the Epi. He's about to jump in, and he will come through. That connects on everyone. How? Dropping, they lose the Morphling. What a great counter initiation by then. Now on the move they go. And well, with Ku here, they try to focus him. He's got that still. Hasn't caught yet. No buyback available. He can't restrain this fight. Is this the opening for Titan? It looks so bleak. But with no buyback, Roshan actually already respawning. Maybe they can turn this. There's still a Ravage from Chow And he's going to buy time. And they burrow. And they're going to chase him down here with the clap. But they can't go CP. He actually doesn't have one. For the time being, he can do nothing but run his ball. He finds so much time to keep Yeah, he really is. Morphling's up at 35, and Xiaowei has buyback. They don't know the Morphling doesn't have the buyback, but... Unfortunately, I don't think Titan have enough damage to actually take down Roshan. They have goo. They have goo, but they... I mean, the but rest of the team really is... Like, for example, like Sting has a defend top. Everybody's slow, man. They have a double damage, though. Okay. Are we gonna make a play here? Yeah, that, that room was just sitting there for ages. So if they want to just two man waltz into the pit, there I say I think they they, ha they can take Roshan, but they no, that's top lane is a problem. That's gotta go back and defend. I mean, yeah. And and it, if they actually went into Roche, Morphling's respawning, and Titan Viper both had buyback. Yeah, yeah. So that could actually just flat out lose them the game. I, it's a great fight by Titan, but Lumi, I think they need like one or two more of those to get back in this. Here's the thing, though. These great fights should not actually even happen. I'm just so surprised that Titan could win these fights. Remember that mid-team fight where they actually, what, like four for two traded against Newbie yeah. when they were down so much? And then that fight, they had that one ward over here, right here, and then it was able to scout out the initiation from Newbie. And that's really what, what gave the fight. Nobody got initiated upon. The epicenter was perfect. And I think that we had a glimpse of what Skyrim Mage can actually do despite being really far down. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, he still dropped like 600 damage nuke on top of your face. And Morphling received it all. But unfortunately, for the next upcoming team fight, how can that age of support? Can they Can they kill this twice? I really doubt it. And at some point, it's all going to be going to be against the Skyrath Mage. At which point, you're not going to get off that silence Skyrath Mage ultimate. And, and without that, I don't think they have the burst to kill a late game Morphling. Yeah. But for now, he's got two lives. Let's see if it even comes to that. Newbie. They can group up and they can siege with the with the disruptions as well as liquid fire. They really don't have to commit to the tower too much. Is it at the point where Titan have to force fights outside the base? Base, do you think? Can they, can they just sit back and look for the epi, or are they going to have to find a way to engage on newbie before they get to the high ground? I, I think their best bet is actually to take a fight out the base, because if you're if you're being sieged, that pipe is going to cover the whole team. Last team fight, the pipe did not cover the morphling, and that's the only reason they were able to kill the morphling. Also, Ravage did not actually hit the Sand King, nor did it hit Extinct. So, I, I think the, the choke point that you normally get benefit when you're defending base actually works against you, because a choke allows Xiao Eight to hit a good Ravage, apply a good pipe, and then that's where the other AoE spells like Macro Pyre, 
the Ice Path Dual Breath, they, they really come in and mess us with Titan. But they're, Titan, they're not going to save for buybacks here. Oh, the Slark buys with Scotty and Newbie yeah. go high ground. Yeah, they're, they're coming around. This is their fight. But this now is in front, and he's going to look to reveal this. Okay, we actually will back off. That trip him in spot yet, but they're good to beat Siege. The Glyphs Force now, they've got to go soon. And still they wait for the right opening to jump in. Look at the positioning from Xiao Wei. He's standing over yeah. here. He understands that's the only way that Titan could come in. And he just blocks their path. But they're still going to look to go. And Xiao Wei, once again in position, Sangshan on the hazard. Room. The positioning from, from Nubia is fantastic here. How do you engage into this? Yeah, I mean, you really you all, you really want to come from like this direction, but it's just going to take too long. Dude, there's more here, there, so if and the smoke's about to wear yeah. up. In fact, it does. Titan, they knew they had to take the fight in a creative way, but newbie give them no openings. Okay, there's another smoke being purchased. They can make the same play again, but if you're newbie, all you have to do is just wait. Let that top lane push. They they don't even have to do anything right now. And if they're really worried, they can send How to one side of the map and leave the other four bottom, but they're just confident in the bottom. You're going to make the long way around, thank you. Smoke number two. Here we go. From the north. k Wax will jump in. He gets off the clap. It's on Banana. Quickly force that back. We'll follow this up with a boulder toss. Well, Ohio is the only one to play the to begin the fight. They may lose the big hero. He's disrupted after the fight. And the mech and the force. But still can't finish him up. That goes in. But he still uses the furrow just to show up the grid headed dragon. And now he loses his own life. There's no epi for this one. And without the epi, there's just no hope. KYXY heard it off, and now with the split ending, Yama takes the focus. They can go for a Viper Spectre, that can't be merged off, even as he leaps away. KYXY surrounded, isolated, brought down, Titan. They're now on the ropes, Luby. And those ropes are giving way. Newbie push in again, there's no glitch. There's no safety buyback. There's really no team play here. All they can do is stall and maybe Newbie Radiant dive tier 4. If they don't, this later Rex is going out, and with it, Radiant quite possibly, Mega Creeps in the game. Newbie just completely seizing Radiant's this game, taking control. It's all but over. I think Titan Radiant's played really well despite what was thrown against them, but the Radiant's first three minutes of the game, in my opinion, really lost awesome. 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 I think they almost decided the game. Yeah, the first three on their own. The fail gank on the Morphling, the fact that two supports didn't really do too much. Sure, Net was able to recover for an amazingly quick Sanky point uh, dagger, but at that point, it was too little too late. And you can look at this match without too much of a fight. Ohio, though, is, is, he is putting up a fight, but he tries to stand here. Yamate will do what he can, but he's held his way. He DKBs and, and right clicks with Kelly. Okay. Now they get the net for us. Make sure this is one, but where's the follow up? Still the Rack's fall. They're diving the well. Yamate nearly brought down by Hell. He will be finished off. Give him a triple. Now the Rage Rack. It's Megas. It's too late. They've been overrun. And Newbie take game one. Titan. They have a shot here, but they've got to take two in a row, or they will be eliminated. The last team to go out before the main event came in before, if they can bounce back. A lot of hope rises on Titan again. They represent the only remaining C team. Let's see if they can stay alive. Let's see if they can win one more. But for now, we'll send it back to the analyst table. James, take it away.